guys, we're going to make a reaction video to how hot dogs are made. It sounds pretty disgusting because I've seen how it's made before, but I haven't seen the whole entire thing. So I just want to know what it actually looks like through the whole entire process. This is my friend Nico. He's going to be with me reacting to this video. So let's get started. Hot dogs are an all-American fare, but most likely it was German sausage makers who first came up with the idea. In fact, there are reports of German immigrants selling them from push carts in New York's Bowery as far back as the 1860s. A century and a half later, hot dogs are still the number one treat on the street. Traditional hot dogs are made from a mix of pork, beef, and chicken. The cuts they start with are called trimmings, pieces of meat left over from cutting steaks or pork chops. The trimmings are ground the same way butchers chop up hamburger meat, by pushing the cuts through grated metal plates. Processed chicken trimmings are added to the ground meat, followed by food starch, salt, and other flavorings. These flavorings vary depending on where the hot dogs are to be sold, because people in different regions have different tastes. Water is sprayed into the mix, and everything is blended together in a big vat. Corn syrup adds a dash of sweetness. The addition of even more water helps to disperse the ingredients and make the hot dogs juicier. Another machine then purees the meat batter into a fine emulsion and vacuums out any air. Long rolls of cellulose tubing are loaded into the stuffing machine. It pumps the meat puree into these casings, twisting it every five and a quarter inches, the length of one hot dog. It takes just 35 seconds to make a chain of hot dogs that would span a soccer field twice. Those hot dog chains are linked together to make an even longer string, and they're loaded several at a time into another machine, which drapes the hot dogs onto moving racks. The process is carefully timed so that a twist always lands on the bar. The racks shunt the hot dogs through a liquid smoke shower, then into an oven with several cooking zones. The liquid smoke seeps through the casing and adds flavor to the dogs as they bake. Hot out of the oven, these franks are drenched in cold salty water to chill them in preparation for packaging. The hot dogs then file down to an unloading zone. Here, a machine pulls them off the bars onto a conveyor. Then, the hot dogs slide off the conveyor into metal containers. If you've been wondering about those uh, black stripes on the casings, all is about to be revealed. The stripe is a marker attached to the casing. The absence of a black stripe means the hot dog is cooked and ready for packaging. Inside the peeler machine, a tiny knife slits each casing along the top. Then, steamy air blows the casings right off the dogs. This machine peels 700 hot dogs a minute. An inspector makes sure the casing has been completely removed and that there are no defects in the dogs. Then, it's into a device that looks like a plastic bicycle chain. The sprockets position the hot dogs for packaging. 
factory manufactures an incredible 300,000 hot dogs an hour. That's close to two and a half million per shift. They really do turn them out like sausages. Fire up the grill and a mouth-watering meal is just minutes away. Okay. I cannot do this. Like, that looked disgusting. The, but hot dogs are still very good, honestly. No, they're not. Yeah, they're... they're I, I don't even want to think about it. They're now. still pretty delicious. So... I went on to the next video. Sorry. Okay. So, drop the subscribe... Well, no. Don't drop it because... I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk. Okay. All right. <laughs> Smash it! Get your get your grandma's cane, her glasses, and just break the screen. Just smash that like button. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Description will be down below. Thank you. I'll be back with our next video. Peace. Uh.